Hi guys and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to be making a kiln out of a 220 litre metal drum. I've already had my metal worker as I don't have metal working tools make the centerpiece over here. What he's done is he's created a little band over here that goes just underneath the uh, lid and then over here he's allowed for a 15 20 millimeter gap at the bottom so this is going to go inside and um, through the hole at the bottom and we're going to elevate this with some bricks so when we start to fire underneath there's this little gap at the bottom that sticks out in order to suck through um, and also create a nice seal he also added another like, five mil uh, diameter metal rod all the way around and then just above that he's made 12 10 mil holes and this is in order to suck the oxygen through in order to create that siphon uh, for the heat to, to propel itself. So luckily I already had one of these made up. My initial attempt, it didn't have this seal. So in order to properly seal it when we do make the fire, we need to do a lot of extra welding and it will just end up not really that conducive for continual use and it won't be that user friendly. So what I did with the um, drum that was already cut, I cut them in half like so. And that'll go on its head, this will go underneath. We've got 50 meter long post pipes. So we put that next to each outlet in order to roll it up and keep the, the host pipe organized and clean. So it had a third use, oil, then a kiln that wasn't used, and then our drum for our host pipe. So because I already had this already cut, we've already got a center hole with the correct diameter for the pipe that we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna mark this out, and we're gonna cut it. guys let's keep going for the moment of truth boom I wasn't getting the perfect centering around this, so I'm just gonna pull a few lines to make sure I get my center. Just starting the hole with a 4.5 and then gonna take it to a 9.5 in order to get the jigsaw blade in. So that's the starter hole. So I lost this little nut and bolt thread. So we're just gonna cut that over there. Pop these guys on in order to fasten it at the, at the end. 
Okay, so let's assemble. Got two blocks over here to just elevate it. And this goes in. Perfect. Different drum. So what happened here, he made this in accordance with another 220 liter drum, which obviously has a few millimeters slight difference in measurements. So when this goes down, it stops on this. So quick solution, cutting this off, it's not really needed now because we have the proper seal. So yeah, let's grind this guy off. I always get a visitor from this guy every time I use the grinder on metal. I wonder what he's eating. Okay, round two. With this guy removed, let's have a look. All that's needed now is just to grind those little bits down and then we're good to go. Okay, round three. Yeah. Last piece of the puzzle, let's see what this guy goes on. There you have it, all sealed, ready to go. So initially the first fiber blanket that was cut, he cut it to precisely equal the full length. Um, however, at the top, we're going to very likely use a lot of like clay and stuff to seal the joins. So I'm just going to cut off like 10 centimeters. And over here, obviously this was also cut to size, so I'm going to take another 10 centimeters off there, put it around, rivet it, and uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there. So before we had quite a lot of dark dark smoke coming out and as you can see it's lightening up there's supposed to be no smoke at all that's the whole point great charcoal without smoke so it's going know why the, it was smoking so much and the whole point was just to have a smoke free uh, experience as possible and we kept throwing in more and more wood so what I think happened here we've got about so much um, charcoal in at the moment so that's enough heat generator with the oxygen coming through to continuously burn this for the next while. I don't think we need to put more in until we sort of hear that the incinerator is slowing down that like bubbly burning sound over here. This is how it should be looking. You can see the top flame there. And then obviously the steam coming off here. There's a little bit of smoke from the inside, but can't stop it all. It's still quite hot. Ooh. But I can't wait. Check it out, that was clay. Yeah. Yo, come look. You can hear it. bamboo as it was. So you can maybe hear crackling and the thought process around wetting it is exactly this where it's got microscopic little holes that you can just, just see with the eye and as soon as you water it then it 
pops all those little things and makes even more little holes and each hole is a little house what the guy said is you make this charcoal and then it's houses for microorganisms and then you wet it and you've made hotels for them <laughs> so there you have it the final product beautiful biochar and this we'll be using in multiple ways i'm sure we'll put a video together showing you exactly what we use it for so stay tuned for that too I took this off yesterday, but it was still quite hot, but I did it with my hands, so it wasn't that hot. And then I thought I'd take out our charcoal this morning, but it's all gone. It's super strange. So it must have been still hot enough to now use the charcoal as burning material and then burnt it down. That's the only thing I can think. That's oh, no. disappointing. Big lesson. Oh dear. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> we try again. <laughs> <laughs>